Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough! I was game sharking to save some time, because I didn't think I'd be able to get the cards that I need to get before the next Pokemon trading card game part, because it was taking me forever! So, I'm a cheater cheater pumpkin eater to get the current album of cards here. See, I've got 223 out of 228 now. Yeah, 228, not 226, because I got the illusion cards. Or I should say, uh... Phantom cards. Actually, no, I, I looked into that a little bit more, uh, just, you know, that after my correction, and some call them illusion cards and some call them phantom cards, so maybe both are correct depending on the region. Anyway, what I'm gonna do here is go over to the card album and show you what cards are in each of the booster packs in case you're aiming for something in specific early on. So, first off is Electabuzz. Yeah, I got some of these actually legit. No Game Shark. I'm not gonna actually go over all the ones that I Game Sharked or not Game Sharked, actually. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you know that Electabuzz. I don't really have to go over the strategy of why that thing is so awesome. <laughs> uh, Wigglytuff. Also, a pretty awesome card, which I went over before because of the Do the Wave thing. Quite powerful. Yes. Also rubbery. Very cuddly. <laughs> and down here in the trainer section, we got Item Finder. Kind of an iffy card. I mean, it's it's good to pull the trainer card that you want. It's sort of like computer search in that regard. But since it has to be in the discard pile, you know, it's one of those things that you already have had to have used the card first. Uh, in order to be able to search it out, so it's not as consistent as computer search, in my opinion. Uh, but anyway, oh, 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 oh. forgot. Way at the bottom. Once you get into the E's, oh, I should actually scroll like this. Yeah, the the E's are energies. <laughs> All right, now evolution, Venusaur. You know this one with the all energy transfer that just was not utilized very well against me, but could be utilized a lot better if it was used by a human. <laughs> and uh, further down, you're going to see a Needle King. Oh yeah! That Needle King can be pretty deadly with the Toxic, because of that double poison, as explained before. And... Victory Bell. Yeah, Victory Bell! Somehow I didn't get one of these, and it's kind of an iffy Pokémon, so... It's, don't know don't know why it's being so rare. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean only 80 HP for a stage shoe and kind of weak attacks. Moving on, <laughs> Flareon. It's uh, the more energy specific version of Flareon from the jungle set. Uh, in my opinion, you could probably do better for a fire Pokemon for four energy cards and 70 HP. A la at least Magmar level 31. And, uh, there's also our canine. you know what I'm saying here. Um, I'm just gonna skim through these here. I'm not gonna go too fast, just so you can see them all, uh, without having to pause the video or anything like that. And, there we go! Mystery! Ooh, so mysterious! Well, the first card that I'm looking for here is... Raichu. Yeah, I wrote down all the cards that I collected off-camera, basically, and ordered them in the order that they would appear in the booster pack list on the PC. So, uh, this is a kind of neat version of Raichu in that it, wipe in that it hits uh, opponent's Pokémon on the bench, which can wipe out a bunch of Pokémon at once, especially since you're choosing them. <laughs> but... You know, it costs a lot of energy cards, but it does have a high HP of 90, so it might be able to survive long enough for you to power it up. Uh, next one is Electrode, Tackle's Basic, Chain Lightning is another one of those sorts of bench Pokemon own attack, but only this one will potentially hit your own, so be wary of using that one. <laughs> it does have a pretty high HP though, so for, you know, for a stage, stage 1 Pokemon. Uh, let's see here, Alakazam is up next somewhere in here, there we go! Damage swap, pretty awesome if you can get Alakazam out. Confuse Ray, relatively decent, but I would prefer um, combining the damage swap with Mr. Mime as I explained earlier. So, yep. Still, keep that card in mind. Pretty nice. Uh, and believe it or not, I did not collect a Tauros on camera somehow, but you know this card pretty well, so I don't really have to 
go over it in its entirety, but I managed to get this one legit because it's just an uncommon. I was just getting really, really unlucky despite all the booster packs that I was collecting. But, uh, yep, that's all for the mystery. Let's go to the laboratory, or laboratory, as Dexter would say. Uh, I did get a lot of cards in this uh, booster pack on camera. Um, eight of them, I believe? Yeah, eight of them, I count on my list here. Uh, Shift is rather interesting, but I think Venom Powder is probably one of the most useful attacks. Uh, actually, because it confuses and poisons. So what happens is, it confuses, so if the opponent tries to attack or retreat, that might not happen. And confusion stays on the Pokémon, and not only that, the poison stays on the Pokémon along with the confusion, so if the opponent's Pokémon can't escape, it's pretty much like a guaranteed knockout. So, But, you know, it's still sort of luck-based, so it's up to you if you want to give that one a shot. Uh, next one I'm looking for is Hitmonlee. Oh, yeah, Magmar. <laughs> but anyway, I'm drooling over an uncommon card that is incredible. Uh, there's Hitmonlee, Stretch Kick. You know this one from Mitch, I'm sure. Uh, high Jump Kick, just basic 50 damage. It's a glass cannon of sorts, does a lot, but can't take all that much. Uh, Haunter is next, the rare version of Haunter, by far what I think is the best version of Haunter because of transparency. It, whoops, 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 it can block all parts of an attack if you flip correctly. <laughs> but Nightmare is a guaranteed sleep too, so it's like the most disruptive version of Haunter ever. <laughs> uh, Hypno. Um, you might have seen this card used by other players every so often. It's an iffy sort of card. I mean, it, it's, it can attack Pokémon on the bench of your choosing, so there's not much of an escape route for opponent's po Pokémon. And it's got 90 HP. Uh, Mr. Mime, here's the Alakazam combo. Invisible Wall. Anything that does 30 or more damage is prevented. Except for effects. So... It's guaranteed to survive at least two attacks, basically, unless it's confused, sleep paralyzed, you know, that sort of thing. And Meditate, if you can keep it out on the field, um, just keeps accumulating damage, hence the idea of moving damage counters off of it with Alakazam. But it's a, it's a strategy that's, well, pretty nice, but it's relatively easily breakable if you use Gust of Wind to pull out an Alakazam or a uh, Pokémon that's weakened by the damage counter moving. But uh, that's what Pokémon Center is, to, is for as well. Uh, let's see here, what is next? Clefable. Ah, uh, yes, Clefable. For some reason, this one isn't really pulled out of packs all that often for me. Even in my Game Boy version of the game, it just seems like it's not a card that's pulled out much. Same with Chansey, uh, actually. So, yeah, and, uh, oops, did I show you? Yeah, I showed you Minimize. So, it, Minimize is kind of... If you go for Metronome, because it's one energy for any attack the opponent's Pokémon has, minus the energy cost, so it's a pretty tricky Pokémon. But remember that your opponent's gotta already have something pretty powerful on the field for you to use Metronome to its most effect. So... You might not be getting an exactly an even trade-off, but it, with 70 HP, it's likely to survive some attacks, except common Pokémon like Hitmonchan that you typically see in this generation. Um, ditto. This Ditto replaces the Fossil Ditto in this game. Yeah, there's no Fossil Ditto in this version uh, of the Pokémon trading card game. You know, you don't really see the Fossil version of Ditto. Uh, over this one, but no, this one replaces it. I'm guessing it's because of programming issues, because the the effect of the fossil diddle is really complicated. <laughs> so I'm not really sure. I mean, that that could be why they did it, but I'm not really sure if that's why they did it. But you've seen this diddle before, so I don't really have to go into specifics of it. And then finally, the last uh, card that I didn't get on camera is Lass in this pack. Yeah, you know that one. Pretty disruptive. Play it well, play it smartly, you can win games with it. <laughs> oh, and super energy removal's in here too, so remember that, kids! <laughs> and there we go, and now for the promotional cards. Uh, you already know these for the most part, because I went into them as I collected them one by one. Except for, well, maybe I did go over this one. I got this one sharked on, because I didn't trust myself to be able to get this from the Challenge Cup in time for the next Pokémon part, so... Yep! <laughs> 
So this is the Pokemon that can disrupt your opponent's evolution evolution Pokemon. But if your uh, opponent's Pokemon is like a Hitmonchan or something, this Mew will not last all that long unless it gets lucky with Psy Shocks. So yeah, uh, it's it's a very strategic Mew to use. And uh, now down at the bottom here, PXX in the promotional cards. These are the Illusion slash um, Phantom cards that I also game sharked on. <laughs> Uh, so, yep, that's a pretty nifty little power there, but you gotta time it well, and since it's a stage 2 evolution, it might be difficult to time to its fullest extent, but uh, Mega Drain will probably hold, you, uh, hold the game in your favor because you'll keep healing yourself at 100 HP, if you can keep the energy on Venusaur, basically, because, uh, you know, the energy removal is a pretty, pretty common tactic. Now for the mystery attack Mew from Card Pop, like Venusaur is another super rare illusion slash phantom card, depending on where you hear your source from, <laughs> where, I mean, names of these cards. So mystery attack, I haven't really seen it go over 20 damage, and it does a random effects from all effects that can happen, except double poison, I think. But uh, yeah, it can be pretty powerful. And there we go, so we've got... Basically, five more cards remaining. Oh, man. Are you excited? Let's go collect them. So, because I now have that Electabuzz, I can go back over to the Lightning Club and trade... You are exactly who I am looking for next! But anyway, I would like to trade. Uh, well, yes, I did. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Get... <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Uh, who has the Electabuzz trade? I forgot. Uh, someone. You? Uh-huh. Yes! You are the one! Level 20 Electabuzz promotional card? Please! Way past cool, in fact! <laughs> there it is! The movie promo. You know, from Pokémon the first movie, along with four other cards. Uh, so it's got light screen. Half the damage. Not too, not too shabby, because it can prevent damage for a decent amount of time with its high HP. So it can be used to stall, and it can attack relatively easily for two of any kind of energy with quick attack. Uh, but I would still go for the other version of Electabuzz over this. It just said I traded my Electabuzz for this Electabuzz for the simple sake of collectors. <laughs> oh, thanks, you're too cool, kid. You're welcome. Uh, you're welcome. Indeed it is! Well, but not, not really as cool for gameplay, though. <laughs> Alright, so Imakuni here! Let's see what that gonna play against him with, shall we? Oh, look at that! I've got the mysterious Pokémon deck from the secret legendary auto deck machine! Yeah, that special deck that uses the illusion cards? I thought I would give that a try versus Imakuni just for the fun of it because it's not a super powerful deck, and I can use it to stall so I can show you more of Imakuni's deck, because I tend to beat Imakuni before he... I mean, before I even take all the prize cards, and... <laughs> so... Yeah! Let's duel him with that and stall him out so he can show his deck a little bit more, as well as the Alakazam Mr. Mime strategy. Hopefully! <laughs> and maybe I'll even be able to show off the uh, Illusion cards here. Well, I got the Alakazam, uh, this isn't a very good opening hand, though, is it? <laughs> well, we're gonna see how things go, I suppose. Well, at least I get to go first. I'm not too worried, because this is Imakuni we're talking about here, which has one of the weirdest and potentially- Oh, it's the signature card! <laughs> yes, this card exists in the game. It's Imakuni, question mark? Your active Pokémon is now confused! <laughs> Why? Why would you play this? <laughs> but it's in his deck, and he's got four copies of it. And he plays it every time his Pokémon is not confused, and he's got a copy of it. Imakuni wants you to play him as a basic Pokémon, but you can't. A mysterious creature not listed in the Pokédex. He asks kids around the world, "Who is cuter, Pikachu or me?" <laughs> and now, while that card is terrible. It is a hilarious novelty card. Yeah, let's see what he does. Ah, oh, he did some damage. 
If he would have did damage to himself there, that would have been double. Uh, due to the ye ol uh, psychic weakness sort of thing. And Leech Sheet here is pretty much going to keep me keep me going infinitely here, because he can only do 10 damage with that Drowsy at a time. So, again, it's... He's not really doing all that much! <laughs> but you got to see a signature card at last! <laughs> and boy, what a signature card it is! Uh, I got a Kadabra here, so... An Alakazam might be coming if I can pull one of the full four copies of Abras that I have around here. I'd also like to show off that uh, mysterious Mew and Venusaur, if at all possible. We'll see how much I can stall in the game. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> well, if he keeps playing Imakuni, he might not last long. He might just destroy himself. <laughs> so he's gotten a side duck out now. Hello, Abra! Might as well start powering up that. And Leech Seed, that Psyduck. And chances are, it'll be only doing 10 or 20 damage per Fury Swipes. Oh, Gambler. Really? <laughs> I hope he gets heads for his sake. Okay. <laughs> it's like he's gonna get a little bit better result than Professor Oak. But the risk really is not worth it, <laughs> in my opinion. Oh, no! <laughs> he's got another one! <laughs> He's destroying himself! <laughs> he definitely has the most fun deck in the game to play against because of this. His Evolve is really weird Pokémon like that. And well, Pokémon and cards like that, I should say. And there he goes, the strange behavior. So he's going to be using that to heal up, quote-unquote, his uh, active Pokémon. And no oh boy, he got lucky to get past the confusion, but terribly, terribly unlucky on the Fury Swipes. So, he didn't even do 10 damage off that, which I'm kind of surprised, because as, as I said, I was thinking uh, 10 to 20 damage, typically as average. Anyway, Elite Sheed, I'm going to continue to stall as long as I can, by the way. <laughs> To see if I can get uh, Venusaur, Mew, Alakazam, Mr. Mime, all those sorts of cards that are in the mysterious Pokémon deck. And we're gonna see. <laughs> hmm, maybe I should have taken out that level 8 Mew and uh, swapped in another Illusion Mew. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It kind of kind of feels... Oh, there's the level 8 Mew. I would have drawn the Mew then! The Illusion Mew of level 15. I guess I could plop that down there. It's not going to take up too much space on my bench. And Alakazam! Damage swap. Yes, now I'm going to use that. Just watch this. I can move damage counters as I please. Yes! Unleash the damage counter movements! Uh, actually, I'm just going to move it like that. Because what I'm going to do is Leech Seed. And what's going to happen is one damage counter is going to be healed off of Bulbasaur and heal it up to maximum HP. And if, quote unquote if, he isn't able to attack again with um, his confused Psyduck, I will just heal that extra damage counter that's on my bench Pokemon by moving it. Oh, there, he didn't attack! <laughs> because of the da damage swap. So that, that's another combo that you can do, is you move damage counters onto Pokemon that can heal themselves, and then you just use that healing, basically. Oh yeah! <laughs> so let's see here, let's see that. Let's Leech Seed, and knock out another one of his poor, confused Pokémon. <laughs> Next up is the incredibly difficult to attack with Farfetch. He may be able to get a Leak Slap off, he might not. He did not. <laughs> it would be even more difficult for him to get an attack off if he uh, confused his own Pokémon again. Hello, Illusion Mew! What's up? Alright, I'm going to power that up on the side, and then I'll switch to it on the next turn just to show it off. See what kind of random attacks we can get off of it. And he's gonna go for the Pot Smash him. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. What that is. Okay, hello, Scyther! <laughs> and plop that on the Mew. Retreat for one. Yeah, I'll save the Switch cards, basically. 
And here comes the mystery attack. What will it do this time? Who knows? We're gonna find out. Did 10 damage and it confused. It's like I played Imakudi against him. I mean, there's something. Or... <laughs> Let's see what mystery attack does on the next turn. If he can actually attack. <laughs> And it'll most likely be able to attack. <laughs> so he's putting out another Psyduck. Let's build it up. And we'll send him the build a little bit later. Uh, I guess I'll power up this version of Mew for kicks. And mystery attack for 20 damage this time. And it has no special effect. See, mystery attack is very randomized. So it may or may not be very good. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm, yeah, let's see. Uh, I'm going to... go into... I guess start powering up for that. And... Mystery... Ooh. Oh, poison this time. <laughs> Such a weird attack, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. It's like, how do you play against a card that you don't know exactly what it's going to be doing? I guess, I guess that's the, the strength of Mew. And he just prevented me from playing trainer cards. That's kind of sucky. <laughs> I still haven't gotten the Ivysaur and Venusaur, though, so I don't know how, mu how much longer I can stall out here. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could choose to not attack um, up to a certain point. Uh, so I can show off the Venusaur. As well as... Uh, I mean, I still haven't even gotten Mr. Mime uh, combo yet. I'm just kind of having some relatively bad luck getting the cards that I need, that I would like to show off here, but, hmm, I guess it's not that big of a deal, since you can pretty much tell how they were, oh, put him to sleep this time, so you, you can't, I mean, it's not that big of a deal if I don't show it off per se, but it's just that there's special cards in both their combo potential as well as uh, their rarity and stuff like that, so this is, this is the kind of deck that you don't really see played very often. I'm gonna energy removal that one. And, 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 so I'll put that on Scyther. Remember, uh, Scyther's Slash Attack does, um, oh, <laughs> confusion. Scyther's Slash Attack does 34, 3 colorless energy and requires 1 grass energy to power it up. Hello, Illusion Venusaur. Alright, I'll hold on to that, of course. And, oh, poison happened this time. <laughs> it's probably this little Mew is just destroying everything. Hmm. Maybe I should move those damage counters off of uh, Mew just in case. Maybe. Well, now I can't not. I mean, I can't really like attack. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can Pokemon Breeder up. Bulbasaur, and that heals. Yes, once during your turn, you use to heal both your active Pokemon and defending Pokemon. So in theory, I could actually start attacking with Mew and then using. Uh, Venusaur to heal it, just to show you its power for kicks. I guess. <laughs> because why not? So let's do that. Oh, I forgot to move the damage counters off of Mew. Whoops. Well, that's fine. I don't I don't really have the space on the bench anyway, um, to an extent. Oh no! Oh no! He might destroy himself unexpectedly. Um, I hope he doesn't, though, because that'll end this duel before I'm able to do the Mr. Mime Alkazam combo. Uh... Well, uh, I guess I can you do it later. <laughs> anyway, I won. <laughs> oh, yeah! That was embarrassing for him. <laughs> I mean, he, he basically took himself down for the most part. You won three times against me! Does that make you happy, does it? I don't really want to give you this, but here, take care of it. For beating him three times, you get a signature card! <laughs> <laughs> and that is how you get Imakuni. Oh yeah! <laughs> the legend! Yes. Never released in America, but it's a legendary card. And he says the same thing, basically. Alright. So. We got some other cards to get. <laughs> Let's go over to Ishihara's house. And do some trades here, because I got that Clefable. Uh-huh. Yep, 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 yep. I would most certainly love the trade cards. 
And with that, I get a surfing Pikachu without the cloud and mountain in the background! Woo! I think this is the duller picture of the surfing Pikachu, but it works exactly the same as a splashable uh, lightning Pokémon in a water deck, if you would like. No, you, I mean, as the other one. You're welcome. Alright, do you have... No, really? Uh, uh, let's see here. What if I were to go back here? I might have to turn off the game and turn it back on in order for him to uh, bring up another trade. Uh huh. Yep, looks like I am going to have to turn off the game and turn it back on after a quick save. So hold on a sec, please. Alright, let's try this again. Game fully reset. And... Really? Hmm. Hmm. Well, he's got another surfing Pikachu as well as a flying Pikachu. So I probably have to duel some other people in order to, for him to uh, get those trades going again. So I think, rather than finishing off my card album, this part, I am going to end off the part here, because there's still this challenge machine to do, I actually go through uh, a little bit later on. So, but for now, let's go through the promotionals. There's the Surfing Pikachu now in there. Um, 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 um there's Imakuni! Yes! <laughs> and now, with that face, the face of victory, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.